Today I want to talk about the new Emacs Lightspark LS2207 motors. This was sent to me from Emacs China. Big thanks to them for sending me these motors to make a review for you guys. They come in free version. I got the 2400 kV. Um, they also have 1900 and 2550 kV. There's also the big brother 2207. They got the little brother 2206. It's just a different stator size. The height is different, but this should be the more powerful one. Uh, I brought three generations of motors of Emacs motors today. We got on the far left 2205. Uh, RS 2205S, RS 2306, and the new LS 2207 um, 2400 kV. By the way, 2400, 2400, 2300. I brought these three motors to show you some minor changes from generation to generation, and also what's not so different at all. First of all, let's open our package. It's nice little Emacs box like we used to. Got some stickers, got some foam on the top. The motors come with two pair of screws. We got 3mm thick arms, 4mm thick arms, and we got some kind of extra washer and screw for the bell for the bottom plate. Always nice and handy to have. And our motor. Extra long wires. That is 22. 7 light spec 2400 kV and clockwise version like you might already know the new Emacs motors always come just in clockwise first of all let's start with some specs on the far left we got the 2205 S motor it's quite old already but this is still my number one motor when it comes to reliability and um, let's say daily use you won't kill any battery that easily and uh, these things, they just don't break. I mean, I never managed to, to bend one of these hollow shafts. I never managed to, to break the upper part. I What I usually do is I just crash the bell. I don't crack it, but I just kind of deform it and um, the magnets get in contact with the stator so it won't turn properly anymore. And sometimes I got a bad bearing also because of a crash. We got a three millimeter hollow shaft as well as up here and we got 20 gauge wires then let's go over to the 2306 what changed we got a completely different design of motor we got a different gauge of the motor wires it's now 18 instead of 20 before um, the motor the stator diameter got bigger the height got higher we got a different bottom plate and it got more heavy so we got a weight increase I, I weighed them with short wires and prop nut on and we start from 30 grams and here we got 34 grams but this one is just a lot stronger and also a lot more durable I never managed to break one of these motors I crashed so many times but I don't know why it just won't break so let's get over to the more important one, the LS2207. And like I mentioned before, we went from 3mm shaft to 4mm shaft and now back to 3mm. So we got a different hollow shaft. We can easily see that by taking our bells. Might no big deal for the durability because like I mentioned before, I never managed to bend one of these before. So I'm not really scared that they did this step back. Might be for some weight reasons, but I'm not sure. What has changed? We got our magnets, or better size of our magnets, and the strength of the 2306 magnets. When we have a look here, size is different, and it's also a weaker magnet. It's supposed to be weaker, but as you try to turn, as you try to twist the bell, on a stator of course it just feels more ratchet to turn the LS2207 even if the magnets should be weaker the magnets now sit closer together and um, they are glued in pretty well I mean there's a lot of glue in there you can see the blue stuff that's kind of balancing the bell Com 
compared to the 2306, the distance from magnet to magnet is bigger. We're talking about increased wire gauge from 20 to 18 to 18, still 18, with the LS2207. This was actually something that they wrote down in the advertisement that they increased the wire gauge to 18 and uh, that increased the performance by 5%. So actually those two got the same gauge. So let's do some little weight comparison of our three motors here. Um, the weight is always with short wires and prop nut on. So we got 30 grams, 34 grams and 32 grams for a light spec motor. So when we're talking about weight, this is actually the lightest motor in here. But when it comes to power, efficiency and thrust, I would rather go to this one because that's where the fun comes from. When we want to talk about performance, I want to mention something about the static thrust test first. And when I was checking the graphs, I saw that the 2207 got better in higher end, that means more thrust, but less torque in low end than the 2306. The other thing is more efficiency higher end 2207, more efficiency low end 2306. Let's get to amp draw and we can see in a static thrust test that amp draw is kind of similar where I would say the 2306 was a little bit higher and especially like high end efficiency got a little worse but when I was flying these motors what in my opinion seemed to be worse the 2207 was drawing more amps than the 2306 and I can definitely say it's about 5 to 10 percent maybe it just push it harder I'm not sure even if my flight time was almost similar the amp draw was higher with my 2207 that brings me back to the kV rating we will know the 2306 got 2400 kV but it's supposed to have a little less like 2350 but the LS 2207 seems to have a little more that makes those two motors a little bit harder to compare and um, maybe that's all about the differences in torque in high end power and efficiency let's also talk a little bit about the design and I think we all know the LS 2207 won the race already it just looks better. I think it's supposed to have better cooling as well because it's just bigger opening. Uh, we got a hollow shaft design. I'm not sure if that's meant to be like we got a little composite shaft here. It got hard steel insert, but that might be some kind of change for the series to prevent broken shafts. Um, that might explain the weight increase, but I'm not sure put it this way the new motor comes with a bottomless design but you still gotta be careful what kind of screws you use because they come still pretty close to the windings but you can definitely see better and check if there's screw too long or maybe too short we got a washer here in the 2306 that's missing in the bell that's like a change design when it comes to shaft design, I also want to mention that we got a different shaft screw to fix the bell here on the bottom than we have in the 2306, that's a bigger one. Um, that's actually the same that we had in the 2205S. Another change in design is actually our knobs over here on the 2306 were actually designed for the Avan R props. We got a different bell design on the new motors that got kind of more aggressive knobs here that's suitable for any kind of prop not just for the Emacs so enough about specs let's talk about practical use and flying outside I was testing them for the last couple of weeks even if it got a little bit colder outside I was trying to make a direct comparison to my 2306 and they feel awesome they feel really good in the air response is good the thrust in my opinion a little bit higher than the 2306 and um, they're very good to fly the amp draw shot a little bit up after my 2306 but the flight time got actually pretty similar i crashed i didn't 
break anything. I, I didn't break any motor. Um, that's my second set already, but I didn't have to change the first one. So the shaft is completely straight. The bells are not broken. Let's come to my conclusion of today. I can definitely recommend these motors. They fly great, they feel good. They come in with $23 each. And even if they're not as light back as they're supposed to be, that's Emacs first bottomless design. I know with bottomless and less weight, also less durability because the windings and the stator is just more open to the outside world. But if you want to give it a try, get these motors, you won't be disappointed and happy flying.